Welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. Quick little update for you guys. We actually missed our paint day. So we were supposed to completely change the color of this car on Saturday. And I found a little bit of a problem with the body kit that I wanted to fix. So we missed it. We're going to do it again this weekend. But I spent yesterday, I went around the entire car and wet sanded the entire body kit. Like this thing obviously had its fair share of little imperfections. And I told you guys I wanted to fix them. But yesterday I went around and I literally just like spot puttied a million little places and made sure that this whole thing is dialed in. So right now it looks kind of ugly. Ooh, I forgot to sand this. But like I filled in the holes where the Honda emblem goes because I don't have the emblems. I never have. I like wet sanded here where some of the clear coat was coming off. I wet sanded just the entire kit. Fixed a couple spots on the door. Both the wing and the front splitter are now ready for paint. I just have to go out and buy the paint to do that. This thing is like there now. The car is like ready to go. I just gotta paint those things up, change the color on this guy, put them all back together, and we, sh we should be good to go. So we got like a maroon color and we got a black color. Dude, these are like actual snapbacks. So last time we did hats, we did we did this, which is like kind of my style of hat. This thing's also a snapback, but it's got the mesh back. It's like, it's it comes with the pre-curved bill. It's, it's a style, it's my style. This is like for anybody, because you can take these, you can bend them, you can wear them flat, you can do literally whatever you want. This is like the official snapback. This was like close to a snapback. And so for this, was actually chosen by you guys. Anyways, I posted something on my Instagram. This is why you guys gotta follow me on Instagram. I genuinely, literally listen to every single thing you guys say. So I was like, I posted a photo of the hat and I was like, yo, what color do you think we should run the hats in next? And all of you guys, most of you guys, voted for maroon. I got like an incredible amount of like red or maroon color votes. So we got it, we got it in the red or maroon or whatever you wanna call this. And then we also got it in the black. We're releasing more of these black Comedicure t-shirts as well as the new embroidered hoodies that I was wearing earlier. And I figured like black's just a classic. It'll go good with anything. You can rock this with a t-shirt like this or you can rock this with a sweater. You can do literally whatever you want. Black is just like a goes good with everything kind of color. We'll be stocking the maroon hats. We'll be stocking the black hats. We'll be stocking jet tag. We'll be stocking more of the Committed Crew logo t we're gonna have the brand new embroidered committed crew hoodies. We're obviously gonna have all kinds of stickers We'll have the Jasmine Colorville stickers as well Can't show you guys those yet because we haven't done the color and the fan favorite We will be selling more of the lower windshield banners So all these things will be stocked September 16th mark it in your calendar wherever the hell you write stuff down or just remember it Just remember September 16th. We're having a new drop New merch wasn't the only cool thing we got today. Well, I, I would actually be lying if I told you I got this today. I've had this for a while. So here we got a bunch of goodies from my boys at Stance Parts. So if you guys remember when we installed the Stance Parts air cups on the Civic, we actually couldn't go as low as we wanted. That's why the fitment right now is like kind of terrible. The body kit calls for 16 inch wheels. Like it, it, it kind of demands them. It, these don't fill out the space as well. But the car looks really high. And basically what happened was you put the air cups on top of the coilovers, but our springs were too big from the original coilover. So what we did was we got shorter springs. So these springs are like an inch and a half ish shorter all the way around. It was like really aggressive when we had it aired up, but you guys were commenting saying like, you're not supposed to be able to drive these things aired up. Like air cups are not to drive on aired up, but stance parts is saying they are stance parts says theirs are designed to be able to drive on them when you're aired up, not all the way, like not all over the place all the time, but when you air it up, it shouldn't be stiffer. It shouldn't affect that. When you air it up, it should just feel like you're still on a coilover. Like you shouldn't realize anything's different. So they made sure to hook me up with the proper springs to make sure we take care of the issues. So we got four new springs and we also got four new helper springs. And I believe these are BC racing springs. I may be wrong about that. I'm assuming that these bigger ones are for the rear. We got little helper springs just to make sure everything is nice and smooth. But hopefully today we can buddy these guys up and we can take care of the fact that this, this is terrible and this is aired down. <laughs> this is gross. 
That's what happens when you leave your car in a wet environment and you don't drive it for too long. It rubs right off, but it's still gross. So for those of you that have never actually seen this, pretty much this is just like an actual coilover system and you just took the top hat off or replaced the top hat with this, it's basically like an air pocket. So it can, when it's fully aired out, it's just metal on metal. So it gives you like the exact feel of a coilover. But then when you air it up, it just expands this entire thing with air. It's just like a sleeve system essentially. And you can air up like this much. But the problem is, I took a video of this when we first installed it. The spring is too tall. So what's happening is like the rod that runs up and down the center of this is maxing out and it's not allowing this to raise all the way. Basically, this is going up a little bit and then it's just compressing the spring instead of continuing to raise. So that's why, for the longest time, I've just been saying we need to fix the ride height, we need to adjust things, we need to make it better because essentially, like the front airs up and down fully. Like when you air it up, it goes up probably like two to three inches, but the rear when you air it up, it goes up like maybe one. So it wasn't super functional and it was also what was causing the stiffness. So because the spring was super compressed when you aired it up, that's why it felt so stiff when we were driving around on it aired up. When With the new springs, essentially we should be able to drive on it aired up and it should feel like soft and normal, I hope. So this is the factory spring that came on the coilovers. This is the spring that we're replacing it with. So, <laughs> We're gonna be going low boys. It is gonna be getting a helper spring on top, but helper strings springs are extremely squishy Like they literally basically compress all the way This one is a little bit of a softer spring rate too because I was like well if I'm getting new ones I may as well get them a little softer because I found these ones to be just a little bit aggressive So they're a little bit softer which means they'll also compress more under the same load So these ones will sit lower than these ones did regardless I do know they sent me like a specific instructions for how to fix my issue All right, yeah, basically they're saying as long as I'm cool with just like the one and a half inch or whatever this thing's gonna drop it. All I gotta do is raise this up 15 millimeters and then drop this down 15 millimeters. And then I should be getting at least a 30 millimeter drop just from the spring itself. And then if I want more, I can still go ahead and adjust it afterwards. But like right now, it's kind of hard to dial in the fitment perfectly because we don't have the wheels we're gonna be running. Mainly what I'm going for right now is like ground clearance. Cause I want this car to be like, kind of like the BRZ. Like it's really low, but it's not that low when you really look at it. And that's what I'm going for here. And then just air up so we don't destroy the body kit, which is the whole purpose of why we did this. I might have just lost the spanner wrench that does this one. My bad. Alright, let's drop the rear and see if I did this properly. I feel like I probably did, but for some reason I'm also like super in my head right now thinking I completely messed this up. You know when you like know you did something right, but you're just not confident? Alright, let's see if we get any lower here. This isn't much. It is just a little bit. Like I said, it's just, just a little bit to start, but it, but it worked. Like earlier, I shoved my fist in here. Now, we lowered that actually lowered quite a bit. Yeah, I'd say that lowered about an inch and a half. That's pretty good. And like if you look like the exhaust hangs way lower, like the body kit is way lower in the back. Can we air up the rear and have it work properly instead of it just airing up just a little bit and then stop? Still looks funny because it's on 15s, but it, it is a lot lower than it was. Because really it's all about airing this thing up and having it go up more than like a centimeter. <laughs> yes, that is like a huge gap. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally how it looked before we did this today. This is the gap we had earlier. Like I could fit my full fist just in and out. This is what it's supposed to be like. Aired up, it should look like it did before. I'm curious as to how much we're going up and down. I'd say that's about 25 and a half inches right there. So go ahead and air it back out. Oh yeah, dude, the, the travel is just unreal. We're at 23 inches right now, an eighth over 23 inches. So that's an easy two and a half inches of airing up, which doesn't seem like a lot. Like we're basically there at 23. Two and a half inches when you're coming up on like a speed bump or anything in the road is a lot. I can just fit four fingers right here underneath the body kit. And I'm curious how much lower or higher, similar to the BRZ that is. Yo, we're four fingers. You guys can't even see anything. Why, why, why is summer over? Why is it gotta be so dark? Boom, four fingers. 
like exactly at the knuckle. Basically gives us the reference point that if we get the right size wheel set up and everything going on here, we can have it looking exactly like the BRZ because the BRZ looks tight when you look at the fitment. Just doesn't rub, like it's, it's just there, but it's the exact same height off the ground. Also, I know a bunch of you guys are noticing this. This is the Yonaka coilovers, not even a year in yet. Um, I think I got these things in 2019, maybe like early January, February. But this is what they look like. They haven't even really been winter driven. Uh, like I, technically I drove them in the winter months, but like I didn't drive them in like salt and snow and stuff. And this is kind of like how, how they're like aging. It's a little bit rough, a little bit rougher than what I'd like to see for age factor, but it still works, so that's good. I kind of like the way I've been doing this though, how I just like slowly upgrade the Civic and I get like, I got like cheap coilovers and now I got like middle ground coilovers and then I'm sure one day I'll do something even better. But it's kind of like, it's kind of cool and I kind of recommend you guys to just do the same thing, like do what you can afford when you can afford it because it makes you appreciate every step. Like it makes you appreciate where other people are at. Cause I know a lot of people always freak out at me when I do like, when I used to do cheaper stuff and they would just yell at me for doing it. But now I have like a full appreciation for what you get when you can afford it. And like, I understand the people that that's what they do. I don't know, it makes you respect everybody's build, not just your fancy, most expensive one. Honestly, that's not too bad. I didn't take a measurement on this one first. I should have. I should have done the fist test. But when you look at the ground, it looks relatively even. There it goes. Just having the tiny wheels is just not working. But the front never had a working issue. The front's issue was just height. I just had to adjust the height. The rear was the one that like wouldn't actually air up and down properly. But now that this thing is kind of complete, let's air up the entire car and just see how much ground clearance we gain. I'll put you guys right here. Ready? Just imagine you're like a, a speed bump. Come up to speed bump and just... Holy shit. Oh, I can feel the monster truck. <laughs> Dude, this thing is huge. I feel like it even airs up higher now. I feel like even the front aired up higher now. Like the air out movement must just be unreal. Dude, that's good. That? That's good. But now what I want to do is I want to test out and actually see if it did anything because like... Basically the reason we did all this was because the rear wasn't working properly and it felt really aggressive when it was aired up and it's not supposed to feel aggressive when it's aired up. So I want to air it up and drive it just a little bit. Like I said, they don't recommend you drive far or hard or anything when it's aired up, but you should be able to like air up and if there's like a couple speed bumps in a row or something like that, you should be able to just drive. So let's see how it feels now. already feels better like it's aggressive because it's on some pretty aggressive coilovers but like last time it literally felt like we were driving on a bag of bricks at least this like there's some bounce do you guys see that the car is like bouncing up and down it's like squishy that's sick that that actually fixed that dude i did not think it would actually fix it i thought it would just like lighten the load of it being really aggressive yo i cannot wait to get this car fully assembled it's making so many dumb noises and i just miss driving it and then of course if you air out It's almost more aggressive aired out at this point. Do you guys hear this? <laughs> Yo, I forgot to tighten something. I was just gonna take it for a hard boost, even though I really shouldn't right now. I was gonna take it for a hard rip, but it is making some freaky sounds right now.
So I'm, I'm assuming that just something right here isn't tight. When I put this one on, I, I don't think I plugged the hose in all the way and was making a weird sound. So I took it back apart and I think I was just kind of rushing to get it back together. Probably didn't tighten something here. But anyways, it's pretty cool that this thing can actually drive air up now more comfortably than it did before. Huge thank you to Stance Parts for helping us out with the spring so that we could adjust the height on this thing and make it a little bit better. Honestly, I think for today I'm gonna leave it here. It's not slammed. Compared to what it was, it's probably slammed, but Honestly, like it just needs bigger wheels at this point. It's got some pretty decent ground clearance. Like the ground clearance, like I said on this, is the same as the BRZ. So theoretically, if I had the right fitment on the wheels, we could be looking the same. Like we could have some similar stance. It would be, it'd be kind of nice. But I do definitely have the chance now when I get bigger wheels to go down still more. Like I can still lower this car a bit. But we're there. We just gotta wait for them to show up, dude. I'm so excited to get this car done. You guys have no idea how annoying it is. I know you guys get annoyed sometimes by the way this thing sits around, and like we're working on it, but. We, I'm not driving it. I know that sometimes annoys you guys, but you don't realize that like I don't enjoy that either. I don't just enjoy it sitting here. I want to drive it. I want to abuse it. Like that's why I built it. But like I said, huge thank you to Stance Parts. I'll leave a link to them down below if you guys want to check out any of the air cup systems. That's all I have for you guys in today's video. Make sure you guys remember the merch shop is going to be September 16th, so do not miss it. I'm going to go around finish sanding all these things up, get it ready, because Thursday, Thursday we dip this bad boy. And I know a lot of you guys don't want it to be dipped, but just, just hear it out. You guys will see in the video why, why it's getting dipped. Or complain, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't change anything. It's still gonna happen. So that's it, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and stay committed.